good afternoon and welcome to the Guy Dawson Show here at WCOBM.com, the World Center of Broadcast Media. Today we have two wonderful guests with us today. For our first segment, we're going to have Jim Egan talking to us about real estate development. For our second segment, we have Vanessa W. Chan and she'll be talking to us about her work with her Force tra Trajectory Project. So, if you are looking to promote yourself, promote your company, anything to do with marketing and PR needs that you may have, you definitely want to get in touch with Guy Dawson and his company, Classy Communications. His uh, company information is 702-845-6129 if you want to call him. And the website is classycommunications.net. So with that, uh, Jim, we are excited to have you on the show today. I'm glad I, to be here. Absolutely. You know, lately I've noticed in the last few years that construction has been a booming industry in this town. And has that? how has that been in terms of real estate development for you? Well, uh, there are two types of new construction going on right now. One is your industrial buildings, warehousing, and, you know, for manufacturers, manufacturing, storing products and things like that. And another is uh, new home builds. Yes. Um, so there's a lot of folks out there that uh, don't see enough uh, inventory in the new and uh, the older homes, mm -hmm. and so those folks are going towards uh, the new build. Um, it doesn't really necessarily affect my business because that's not the markets that I really focus my stuff on. So it doesn't really affect me. So how are you? Um, so how what what kind of effects are you seeing in terms of your business and what what specifically do you deal with you well, have some very specific areas you focus on right. in terms of real estate development. well uh, we manage uh, single-family multi-family and commercial buildings okay uh, mostly the commercial buildings are your retail strip malls and uh, office yes um, and we have seen uh, pricing on single-family homes go so go so far up that a lot of investors are running away from single-family homes and going oh, wow. into multi-family or commercial. Uh, so the returns on cash on single-family aren't where investors like to be, and so uh, they're turning more to a uh, multi-family and commercial. Um, and in the multi-family, we've had a little bit of challenges on the older properties, uh, sewer, electrical, and that type of thing. Uh, and so they can be a little bit of a, a crapshoot in terms of returns. Uh, so where we have found most of our investors getting the best returns and um, less uh, brain damage is the uh, retail strip malls. Oh wow, very, yeah. very cool. So you specifically have your specific areas that you focus mm -hmm. uh, your work on. So right. let's talk about, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about those specific areas. You, so one of those is definitely the um, your part to work with investors and rehabbing properties and tenant placement. Exactly. What we do is we uh, we do a, we're very comprehensive in terms of we find we identify what properties uh, that the investor should buy. Mm -hmm. We have a unique rating system that enables us to identify the different parameters of an investment property. Is it five star? <coughs> we have we have different stars, different ratings for different components of a property. Oh. Uh, so. Uh, a property can be defined in uh, five different areas. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's uh, equity or its value, uh, it's uh, condition, it's desirability in terms of a neighborhood, uh, it's uh, square footage, and uh, it's return on cash. So those are the five things that we measure. And then we uh, measure those things and then post that information on our website so it enables investors to quickly identify what to buy. Wow. That's pretty. In, that's really amazing information. And how do you find out about these properties? Well, a lot of this uh, is public information. There, oh. uh, there's, there's two types of listing services. There's residential and commercial. Uh, uh, the residential listing service everyone's familiar with. They would find it on Realtor.com, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the commercial side, there's uh, three or four different listing services. So it's a little bit of a challenge to take that data from different service, you know, different locations, and, and put that into one location. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, survey the property and identify if it's worth buying. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's kind of like the Trivago <laughs> in, 
in a way. Yeah, I guess it is Trivago, but uh, yeah. in a way, because Trivago is different. Well, they're more comprehensive. Yes. You know, uh, yes. uh, I just identify certain specific types of properties. Right. right. You know, whereas Trivago goes, you know, a whole uh, breadth whole, of uh, yeah. properties, and in, and they have a lot more guys uh, on the computer. It's just, <laughs> it's just me, you know. Really? Oh yeah. Oh uh, wow. So uh, so and then I go uh, I visit the properties, I videotape them, mm -hmm. identify what's wrong with the property. Uh, get an assessment as to the strength of the tenant if they exist. Mm -hmm. um, I sometimes interview tenants, you know, just to get an idea of, you know, how strong that tenant is. Uh, so on commercial strip malls, for example, it's super important to know the strength of the tenant. Um, and then on residential properties that we want to know, uh, if, you know, if the tenant's going to stay there long, the, you know, the condition of the property, uh, if we're going to have to get rid of them, you know, so those types of things are very important for investors to know. So I want to talk to you. You talked about a four-step program, right? And this is in regards to the tenant placement. Tenant placement. Yes, right. Exactly. So once once we've identified the property to buy, uh, if we need to go in and get it rehab, we'll take care of that for the investor. And then once we have uh, an empty property that the investor has purchased, uh, we offer four different solutions for tenant placement. Um, so. Um, the four type are, uh, the, the simplest one is just finding a tenant. So we find the tenant, uh, the tenant pays the investor, we're out. Mm -hmm. uh, the second type is full service property management, which is what everyone else does, offers. Um, the third uh, tenant placement uh, option that we offer is real popular among our investors, is uh, lease with the option to purchase. Uh, they make outstanding tenants because they're gonna eventually purchase the property. They pay a premium to, for that option to purchase. Uh, and they also uh, are responsible for all the maintenance and repairs. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, investors love that because th the cost of um, maintaining the property goes down significantly. And so does the cost of managing. Um, and then the fourth is relatively new, and that's unique only to single family properties in certain areas of Las Vegas, and that's Airbnb. Yes. Uh, so that's a real popular uh, solution. Uh, with, uh, with Airbnb, uh, uh, investors can get a significant greater return. Uh, however, there are a lot of restrictions on it. So, uh, oh, wow, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, so there's uh, the easiest restrictions to identify are HOAs. Uh, so um, uh, mo all the HOAs in Las Vegas or North Las Vegas or Henderson do not allow leases under 30 days. So that eliminates a, a lot of properties. Uh, and then there's uh, a region, Paradise, the Township of Paradise, which a lot of people aren't familiar with, but it's essentially near the Strip. Uh, that region is also uh, exclusive. You can't have an Airbnb in there. Well, the casinos don't want you want people there. That makes a lot of right. sense. Right. So when casinos find Airbnb in the, in that area, they yes. come down on them hard. Uh, yes. So so when it comes to Airbnb, we have to be very. If a, an investor wants Airbnb as a solution mm -hmm. to prop, you know, to tenant placement, then we absolutely must identify what he can purchase before jumping in. I personally love Airbnb. I do too. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we travel mm -hmm. all over the world and uh, and it's amazing uh, how awesome it is all over the world. So Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I love that you offer that as an option yeah. for your investors because I can't imagine, you know, the amount of returns coming from that in terms of visitors that want to come to Las Vegas right. too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a much higher return. There's a lot more management, but once you, yes. even with a even with the additional management required, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's still a, a better return than even a uh, lease with the option of purchase. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, Jim, uh, was there anything else that you wanted to tell our viewers in terms of, you know, let's let's go ahead and have you talk about how they can get in touch with you. Okay. Uh, our website's pretty easy to remember. It's ifindproperties.com. Uh, That's uh, so easy. Ifindproperties.com. That's uh, that's it. That's awesome. Yeah, most people remember that. And you got <laughs> yes. a great memory, by the way. So I, oh. <laughs> I, I know you'll remember that. Yes. Um, and there are phone numbers on that and so on. Excellent, excellent. And on the website itself, you also have the videos of the properties and all that property info that the investors are looking for. Right. Perfect. Yeah, and uh, we have a section dedicated to investors. You know, excellent. you know, investors start here because mm -hmm. uh, uh, we do get uh, quite a few investors that are, are relatively new or haven't invested in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of information here that they need to be aware of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in terms of the process for purchasing, you know, a, a putting the uh, property in a trust and 
and getting financing you know as you may know financing isn't uh, as easy as it used to be yes. Uh, yes so a lot of investors are a little surprised when they, they multi-millionaires can't qualify for a, for a financing because they're they're self-employed wow uh, so um, uh, the, the the good old days of easy financing are gone so definitely uh, but anyway that's a whole nother that's a whole nother show. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ever come back to the show, we'd love to hear more about that. Uh, well, that's not my specialty. I'll find somebody for you. <laughs> well, Jim, it's been a pleasure. We want to thank you for being on the show with us today. Absolutely. Uh, and definitely, you want to check out his website, ifindproperties.com. And we are very happy that you were with us today. And check us out uh, in a few minutes after the commercial break. We'll be right back.